This is a model of our solar system, solar meaning sun. It contains the sun, which is the bright yellow light in the middle, and then going around it are the planets. This model is a bit out of reach. So let's make our own scale model solar system down on the ground. Ah, I think I see something that'll help us. Today, we're gonna to learn about the order and scale of the planets. So let's start by taking a closer look at the sun. It is a star, a star being a huge ball of very hot gas, mostly hydrogen. It is roughly a spherical shape like the planets, but stars give off light and heat. There are different sizes of stars. Our sun is a yellow dwarf star, which is a medium sized star. Even though it's considered medium, it's still huge. The sun is 1.4 million kilometers in diameter. That's huge. And it makes it quite tricky to fully understand its size. So let's make the sun something we can actually hold, like this yoga ball. This yoga ball is going to set the scale for our model solar system. The sun actually contains 99.8% of the entire mass of the solar system. So let's take a look at the leftover 0.2%. There are eight planets in our solar system. A planet is a spherical shaped object orbiting around a star. For us, that's the sun. These eight planets are called Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There are also asteroids, comets, moons, and dwarf planets such as Pluto. How big do you think the planets are if this yoga ball is the size of our sun? Well, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, so it's first in our order, and it's also the smallest. Compared to our yoga ball sun, it's the size of a sesame seed. It's slightly larger than our moon and looks a bit like it too, with a heavily cratered surface because it doesn't have an atmosphere. It has no moons of its own and no rings either. It's pretty hot because it's so close to the sun with an average surface temperature of 167 degrees Celsius. But Mercury's not the hottest planet. That's the next one. Named after the Roman goddess of beauty, it's Venus. In this scale, the hottest planet in the solar system is the size of a pea. It has a surface temperature of around 464 degrees Celsius because it has a thick, toxic atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide, and it's constantly shrouded in thick, yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid that trap heat in a greenhouse effect. It has a very volcanic surface, covered in volcanoes and lava flows, so not a good place to visit. You could say Venus and this third planet are like two peas in a pod, because they're similar in size and mass. This slightly larger pea is our home planet, Earth. We are the first planet from the sun to have a moon, and we call it the moon. Earth is the only known place in our universe that has life. We're just the right distance from the sun, and we call this the Goldilocks zone. We're not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist, and we have a suitable atmosphere around our planet, which makes it possible for life to exist. Are we really alone in the universe? On the next planet, we're searching for evidence of life. The fourth planet from the sun, the size of a peppercorn, is Mars. We have sent many rovers to explore Mars, including Curiosity, Perseverance, and even a helicopter called Ingenuity. The rovers are searching for signs of life and to help scientists find out more about the planet. It is known as the red planet. It's red because of the iron oxide or rust on its surface. It has two potato-shaped moons named Phobos and Deimos, it is home to the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. These are the four rocky planets. They are the smallest planets in our solar system and the closest to the sun. They are called the rocky planets because they're mostly made of rock and metal. So they have a solid surface and a core that's mostly made of iron. But the next four planets are gas giants and they are made of hydrogen and helium. The first two of these planets are known as the gas giants because they're much bigger than the rocky planets. The fifth planet from the sun is the king of the planets, Jupiter. It's also the king of the court because in our scale solar system, Jupiter is the size of a tennis ball. All the other planets could fit inside Jupiter with room to spare. There are lots of storms on the planets, but the largest we found is on Jupiter, the great red spot, 
It's been going for over 350 years, but it is shrinking. When it was first observed, it was two and a half times the size of the Earth. At our last count in 2023, Jupiter has 95 moons and it could have more. And it actually has four rings, but it's not the planet that's known for its rings. That's the next one. Another sports ball, Saturn is something that astronauts have played on the moon. In our scale solar system, Saturn is a golf ball about half the size of Jupiter. Saturn has seven main rings. The rings around the gas planets are made up of bits of ice and rock, comets, asteroids and moons that have broken up. Its rings span for about 280,000 kilometres, but they're only about 20 metres thick, about half the height of our rocket tower, and they're likely to disappear in 100 million years. It's the least dense planet or the lightest, so if we had a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float. The last two planets, similar in size, are known as the ice giants because they're mostly composed of heavier, ice-forming elements like oxygen, carbon, nitrogen and sulphur. In our scale solar system, Uranus and Neptune are the size of these marbles. And Uranus, being the slightly larger, has 27 moons and 13 different rings. It was the first planet discovered using a telescope. The astronomer who found it, Sir William Herschel, wanted to name it George after King George III. It was agreed it would be named after Uranus, the Greek god of the sky. It is the only planet that's named after a Greek god. The rest, except for Earth, are named after Roman gods, like Neptune, the Roman god of the sea. Neptune is the furthest planet from the Sun. It has 14 moons and six different rings. As the furthest from the Sun, it is the coldest planet with an average surface temperature of minus 195 degrees Celsius. Neptune, not visible to the naked eye, it was the first planet to be predicted by mathematicians before its discovery in 1846. Maths and science have helped us find out so much about our solar system and beyond, but there's so much more left to discover. So let's recap what we've learnt today. We've looked at how big things are in our solar system and the order of the planets, but how will we remember the order? We can use a mnemonic to help us remember the order of the planets, which is where you put things in a sentence to help you remember things. One that you could use is, my very easy method just speeds up nothing. You could try making your own mnemonic and even try finding items around your home to make your own scale model solar system. While the planets here are to scale in their sizes, they're not actually the right distances from each other. So join us next time to find out how far the planets really are from each other and how they orbit the Sun.